chalk. No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Oops. Me. Oh dear God, what was I found about? something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues. Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. High five. Uh, I can't leave the dude, little dude hanging. Okay. High five. Cool. Talk to ducks and Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. Well, that That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Okay. And who else is left to talk to? Oh, little Miss Poontang upstairs. Come here, girl, let me hit it from the back. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get laid. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. What? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Ah, uh, you're probably right. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yeah. Been two episodes. Might as well get it out of the way. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Now give me that ass. Ooh! Yeah! Don't call me small. That's what he said. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Talk about you giving me that ass. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Hmm. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Real talk. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? You got any thoughts about Lily? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Why do I get the feeling it's that kid that's on watch that's... 
being all sneaky sneaky. Alright, so I talk to everyone basically. So what's left to do? Oh yeah, I didn't ask him about a truck. Hey Ben, I need a piece of truck. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Mm. What to do? What to do? Uh, definitely weird. Alright, let's go talk back to Lily, I guess. There's not much else we can do at this point, I think. Since we already talked to everyone. Let's go see what's up with Lily. Hey! Find anything? Do you ever want to leave here? Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. Um... Ooh. I killed someone before all of this. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit. He knew who you were, and you would have had all the reason in the world to kill him, and you didn't. You don't need to apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. <laughs> Billy won't forget that. Okay, so... I guess now is when we decide who we're gonna tell that we killed people and whatnot. Well, she obviously already knows that I need to tell her. Clementine, I think, already has an idea. I already asked her if she had any pink shots. He said no, so I Clint, need to tell her. I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. You should know that I killed someone once. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Alright, so Clementine understands what I did. <laughs> 